hey you welcome back to my channel so I have another review for you and I am going to review the evening primrose oil supplements that I have been taking for the past three months and if that obviously if that's something that you are interested in please keep on watching and before we get into the, the review if this is your first time please hit the subscribe button like this video and of course hit the bell notification that helps me out a lot and you know check out the links in my description uh, everything that I talk about in my videos everything that I show you guys in my videos well, almost everything I always have a link in the description so I'm gonna close my window because I can hear the dogs barking so I've been taking all sorts of supplements for the past six years and the one that I have uh, introduced most recently is the Even Primrose and I have been taking it consistently for about three months or it could be more so I'm finally back with an update and I'm going to share with you guys what taking evening primrose consistently for three plus months have done to my body what it's what is what it has done for my health and um, this video is obviously not sponsored I spent my own coins on this so the one that I have with me right now is NutriCost so I don't know if you guys can see that it's the nutri 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 course evening primrose you get 120 soft gels uh, one gel one soft gel is one serving and each pill has 1300 milligrams of evening primrose oil now when I first started taking evening primrose I was taking the now evening primrose but the, the reason why I'm using nutri course right now is because at one point I couldn't get the now evening primrose on Amazon because that that stuff um, be sold out all the time and you know I didn't I couldn't get my hands on the now even primrose so I got my hands on this which I think is was the next best thing because it has the same amount of even primrose um, oil per soft gel as the the now the only difference is that the soft gel in this one is a lot harder because you know the now evening primrose if you live in a hot country and it gets really hot what ends up happening is that the soft gel starts sticking together and like you really have to shake it, to shake the bottle to get them loose I don't have a problem with this one so you know this is a plus most definitely so I'm gonna put um, the link in the description for this one as well as the now because um, I think I'm gonna go back to the now because I think the now I think that I'm not sure but I think the now was cheaper like you I can't remember I'm gonna go back to the now because I like that one more I just do but yeah this one is just as good and if you are concerned about them sticking together then you should definitely get this one but they're all the same they have the same ingredients so let's get right into how I've been feeling and what's the difference I've noticed in my body since I started taking the evening primrose. Before I started taking evening primrose, I've always had an issue with my period. I, I, I get like the worst PMS sometimes. I would always break out every time with, um, you know, be, right before my period, I'll start breaking out. Uh, I'll have, obviously I'll have cramps, like on, on the second day of my period, I'll have the worst cramps ever. I have a very 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 heavy flow and like when I say heavy like really really heavy flow and you know sometimes like when you have your period you get like a lot of clots I remember one time before I started taking the even primrose I had a clot this big came out of me and I'm sorry to be so gross but you know we are women this channel is geared towards women like honestly I mean I know some I, I know some men follow me on this channel because of the skincare videos that I upload but most of my my followers are women so if you're a man I'm sorry but yeah <laughs> yeah so I, I remember I've had I had a clot this big came out of me and uh, you know people people always say when you know you go to the doctor you know go go and um, they will um, put you on birth control and it will help regulate your period and you wouldn't have like heavy flows anymore blah 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 and uh, I was one of those people that never really believed in birth control especially the hormone hormonal birth control because um, I'm very very skeptical about hormonal treatment especially in in women who are already healthy and you know it really amazes me that there are so many doctors right now that would before they even ask a question or do some research or anything like that 
the the first thing they recommend is putting you on birth control or giving you that horrible birth control injection like i can't re remember the name of it somebody please um type it in the comments but a lot of and um, the, the one of them one of the side effects of getting that injection is months and months of bleeding and you know it's just awful i am 41 years old and i've never been on birth control um even though i've had you know issues with my period it wasn't um unbearable to the point where i felt like i had to to go get you know treatment or go to the doctor or anything like that because you know i could have gone the second day without taking painkillers because usually the, the cramps are so bad like even if i take painkillers it they never worked even the strongest painkillers and i tried my doll and everything so um issues with my period so after the first month of taking evening primrose i kid you not i had a period that lasts me three days and usually my period used to go, used to go on for like about five days and then another four to five days of spotting you know where um you're not really bleeding but you know you, you see um you know you see spots of blood anyway yeah that's what that's the problem that i was having and um it wasn't always like that i just felt like you know it just it, it just started getting worse as i got older simply you know simple i can't remember the last time i've ever had a period when that lasted me three days and the last time i remember that happening i think maybe i was a teenager or something that was the last time i remember ever ever having a period that lasted three days like i was shocked and i was surprised that you know it only took one month of even primrose there are so many women that that suffer with pcos and a lot of hormonal problems and you know when they go to the doctor the doctor puts them on birth control or you know put them on, on, on weird medications and stuff like that and that's not what i wanted for myself and i've had i've had friends who've had a lot of issues conceiving um, you know getting pregnant and i just don't understand like why the doctors are not telling women to well it's it's so hot y'all it's really hot I don't know why the doctors are, are, are telling women or um, you know recommended supplements but yeah back to how I felt the PMS that I got before my period like I will get like really really irritable and I'll have like the, the, the worst cravings ever like I would just eat a lot of chocolate and a bunch of weird stuff that I would just eat because I just had like these weird cravings all of that was gone and uh, I wasn't breaking out anymore like usually I, I from I kid you not literally every period I will have like a breakout like a breakout or two or sometimes three somewhere on my face nothing nada and that was only one after one month of taking evening primrose and I know somebody's gonna ask well how many um, capsules did I take a day and I took two a day so I would take one of these in the morning with my regular supplements and I'll take another one at night before I go to bed. I mean, I know it's a high dose, but you know, um, I wanted to see how fast I can see results and I just wanted to take, you know, two servings a day. So on the bottle, it does recommend that you use one soft gel a day with eight to 12 ounces of water. So obviously you gotta drink your water, um, but I've been taking two daily it's also said as for healthy individuals over the eight, the age of 18 and older obviously if you have problems i would recommend that you see a doctor because i am not your doctor but you know you are a grown person um, and you can make your own decision based on the information that i give you and on also based on your own research also i forgot to mention the cramps were gone literally no more cramps cramps was like okay bye bye and my floor has gotten a lot lighter i still have my my heaviest floor on my second day but it's not as heavy as like it's used like it used to be it really isn't and another thing that i wanted to mention is that i started taking this with knack as well because um you know because of the research that i did i heard that if you take evening primrose with knack 
it can help with regulating your hormones and also if you have issues with fertility um, like if you have like any any problems with fertility it can also help as well ladies if you have tried everything if you've had you know painful periods and didn't know what to do if you were having problem getting pregnant you've been having issues with you know a hormonal imbalance and stuff like that you've been going to the doctor they've been putting you on birth control and you've been trying every single thing just try the evening primrose just make just try it give it a try and see what happens you know it wouldn't hurt to try because it's just a supplement it's not a dangerous drug or anything like that so I would recommend that you give it a try and I have a success story my sister who had a baby this year at the age of 35 her whole life she was told by literally every single doctor that you know she had a hormonal imbalance um, they couldn't do anything about it she can't get pregnant she will never have babies ever ever she went through her entire life thinking that you know she would never have children and she gave birth to her first baby this year well we can i think she's hoping that it's going to be her last baby we don't know you, you never know but yeah she gave birth at the to, of her first baby a healthy baby at the age of 35 and she couldn't be happier and we and i'm sure a lot of us have heard you know stories of people who were told that they couldn't get pregnant by their doctors they wind up getting pregnant later on in life well this is one of the stories and she started taking evening primrose and she swear that it's because of the evening primrose she was able to get pregnant i swear to god so if you have an issue with inf infertility hormonal imbalance um, you know moods and stuff like that you know mood swings all that stuff consider taking evening primrose and i would also recommend you take it with NAC as well um i take NAC for different reason but and you know the funny thing is i started taking evening primrose not because of you know my period or anything like that i started taking it because i heard that it's really good for your skin and my skin has been looking great but you know afterwards when i started doing research that's how i found out how how amazing this supplement is it really is amazing because i used to see this in the pharmacy all the time and i didn't know what it was for i think i i think older women was were taking it because of you know menopausal issues maybe hot flashes or something like that i didn't know you know younger women could take it so before i go obviously before i go if you start to take even primrose and you do not want to get pregnant now is not the time to be having reckless sex especially in these times where everything is so crazy and we do not we do not know what's going to happen next because your 2020 has been crazy af you know if you know you don't want to be pregnant you know just practice safe sex that's it okay that's all i that's all i wanted to say and would i recommend the evening primrose 100 percent yes i will never stop taking this what i plan to do i will i plan to reduce my dosage to one um, a day because I feel like you know my my body has balanced itself out from as a result of the evening primrose so I'm gonna reduce my do dose in half so I'm gonna start taking this once a day you know so that I can save money and it, it can last me um, longer and um, yeah so if you want to if you want to balance your hormones you want to um, you know get a ch get a chance uh, uh, if you want to fix your infertility problems as well as having good skin try evening primrose it doesn't hurt to try um i'll leave the link in the description and that's all i have to say for this video guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate the love and the support and of course don't forget to like and subscribe before you go okay bye